What's going on, guys? And welcome back to some more Super Luigi Galaxy. In the last part, we did the um, melt. We did not the. We did the Dreadnought Galaxy. In this part, oh boy, uh, we're saving the worst for last. This is my least favorite galaxy in the whole game. I think it's worse than Gold. I, I think it's worse than Dusty Dune Galaxy, and I think it's worse than Sea Slide Galaxy. Because of one particular star, the Sinking Lava Spire. So, uh, this star itself isn't that bad. It's when we get to a certain prankster comet, however, that I feel ruins this galaxy forever for me. So, uh, yeah, we're doing the Melting Holding Galaxy, and there's another world you can get a ton of star. There's another galaxy you can get a ton of star, but so. It'll, it'll help us uh, for feeding that uh, Hungry Luma, which we're going to have to feed eventually. So, uh, so yeah, basically, uh, this is the last of the normal galaxies in the whole game. So, uh, this is the last unlockable galaxy in the whole game. So, uh, yeah, they definitely saved the worst for last than uh, my, or at least my perception, because uh, there's a... Uh, it's all lava-based, first of all, but uh, lava... We've already been over lava phase. However, these things, uh, you have to kind of quickly uh, time walled up. You also got to do it in a way you don't get burned by the uh, fire bars. You have to wait for them to go like, uh, yeah, like that. Now, uh, there's going to be one... Uh... No, don't take this launch star just yet. Because... There is a ton of star bits we can get over here. Just be a little careful because the lava is going to close in. We got 60 star bits right there. And look at this. We can get even more. We already got one up. Actually, no. So, yeah. There's another Hungry Luma. He's going to want, like, 80 star bits. Like, so, it's definitely helpful to take that, uh... And then, yeah. There's, uh, pull stars. And, uh, again, you have to wait till the... Wait till the, uh, lava f bubble uh, goes away. So, like that. We got a one up. Wait till the uh, wait till the potaboos go like that. There's gonna be a very specific star prankster comet that I believe taints this taint has painted this galaxy forever for me, and it's gonna be the uh. uh maybe I'll wait till I see what the game. Remember, I, I'm I like to, I normally do like to spoil games this old, but uh. Well, it actually makes me feel old knowing how this is a nearly 20-year-old game, but, uh... We already have 110 star bits, so we're, we're going smoothly, but, um... We have to get Prankster Comet, so, uh, I'm gonna try to test to see if I can not take any damage, and... For those of you that have played this game before, I definitely failed right there, so, uh... I shouldn't have opened my big fat mouth, but, uh... It's all the star chips, so, uh... I'm just gonna cut to the chase. One of the biggest reasons I hate this galaxy so much, there's a Prankster Comet, there's a Daredevil Comet, not for any bosses, but for this whole entire stage. And it's by far my least favorite star in the whole game. I think it's worse than Boulder Guy's Daredevil mission. Like, uh, at least you just have to fight Boulder Guy. So if you're good at fighting Boulder Guy, that star isn't that bad. But doing an entire level without getting hit isn't the easiest of tasks, no matter how experienced you are with this game. And eventually the uh, lava is going to pull the lava. So actually, if you take quite a you can take a shortcut right here and not kind of fuck that up. But uh, can I actually take the fucking shortcut? Hey, what the fuck? Okay, you don't want to, you don't waste too much time because the lava is going to um, rise up. Get a one up right there. Okay, I'm wasting too much time. We should have just taken the normal route. But anyway, uh, oh shit. Yeah, well, I was definitely rising up. Maybe no, I'm not gonna waste too much time grabbing those star bits because we are in kind of a hurry. And uh, if the lava rises all the way, you're just gonna slowly take a death. And I'm not gonna go for that one up either. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, that was the, uh, first star Mel Melty Molten Galaxy. So it's either we're gonna do the, uh, Secret Galaxy or the Daredevil Star, depending on what happens next. So, uh, I'll cut to which is which, actually.
Actually, the Hungry Luma appeared, so good thing I, I was smart when I kept going towards that. But uh, either way, we're going to deal with the... Uh, either the Daredevil comet. I hope it doesn't appear. I want to do that last. Okay, uh, thank God. We're just going to do the Secret Star now. So uh, I'll cut till I'm back at that Hungry Luma. So uh, transition! Anyway, so now at the Hungry Luma, so he's, I think he's gonna want 80 star bits, so, uh, yeah, we've been over this dialogue a million times, so I think he's gonna want 80 star bits, so, uh, yeah, he needs 80 star bits, so, uh, thankfully I have over 100, so. Just feed him the star bits, and there we go, we're on our merry way. And transform, it's probably the second last time we're gonna see that. Because we still have to feed the Hungry Luma outside of the garden, so... A new planet was born. Anyway, so... Yeah, it's another instance where I have to kind of let the lava... Kind of move in. We have to get kind of... We have to get Silver Stars and not take damage like that. No! Avoid these Potaboos like the plague. Alright, uh, that's, uh... I'm gonna try to see if I can get that health extension. There we go. That definitely helps us in this situation. Like, yeah, I'm not gonna get those star bits. I just focus on getting the, uh... No! No! Thank God I got the health extension! <laughs> Alright, there's the last one. And they're gonna put it right in the middle of that, so, uh... Shit, shit, shit. No, 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 no! Alright, there we go, and that's our star. I hope I don't have to do the Daredevil Comet next, no. And we don't have to do the Daredevil comet, so, uh, yeah, I'll just cut that out of the video, but, um, we're gonna do it eventually, though. We're gonna have to man up and do that whole stage without getting hit. But anyway, star number two in Melty Molten Galaxy is, uh, through the meteor storm. And guess what? It's another rolling ball level, so we have to, uh, there's going to be two back-to-back -back parts we're going to have to do rolling ball levels, so, uh, like, uh, we're not, like, you thought you were done with that? Uh, well, maybe if you're doing a 60-star playthrough, it would be different, but, uh, I've not done a 60-star playthrough this game since I was, like, a kid. Every playthrough I've done since, like, I kind of, I usually go, uh, this is another one of those games I usually go, like, 100% or bust. I we got to lure this, uh, guy over here and uh lure him over to the fire things they don't make it clear what you have to do real right over there but i've played this game a bunch of times before i can, can make it clear we got us we got a one up so uh anyway so wait till they wait till they go down wait till the meteor goes oh shit okay got the one up Okay, this area is pretty nerve-wracking. Actually, it's pretty easy, but uh, when you get hit like that, it's not. But right, there we go. We should be able to get a health. Oh, yeah, there's a health extension. We're gonna need it actually because we almost just took a hit. But right, there we go.
more star chips. So it's just like the first, uh, I don't want to do the dare. I have to do it because I usually, oh shit, shit. And we're not losing the health extension. I love losing the health extensions right after I get them. All right. No, I just lost the health extension. I always lose, I like to lose, for some reason I always lose the health extensions right after I get them. Anyway, so let's get out of this stupid area. More meteors. By the way, this was also a star I could never beat when I was really, really little, so... I can beat it now, but, like, uh, for obvious reasons, but, um... It's just the end of this star, we have to do some sort of little task. I already spoiled what it is, we have to do another rolling ball thing, so, uh... We don't have enough for a one-up, and guess what? More rolling balls. So let's see. Let's see what the top sign has to say. Hey, my name is. Oh, it's Billboard again. Hey, have we met someone before? Yes, we have actually. So, uh, yeah. There was one I didn't really even know about. Jillboard. <laughs> sir, sir. After how many times I've played this game, I've never really figured that out. But anyway, that one-up is a little risky again. But just don't fall in the holes. You should be fine. I re so I'm going to go dead silent during this, but I want to get out of the star. I almost, I almost just fell in one of the holes. But yeah, I used to think this was a hard star, but me now in my mid-20s, I don't think it's really that hard. To be fair, I'm, I'm, in my, I'm also in my mid-20s playing an E-rated game, but um... Again, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that, Daredevil Star. Uh, you're going to be believe it when you see it, but... Uh... Anyway, so uh, let's uh, save our game and... Uh... And... Oh boy, Daredevil Comet in Orbit. So, uh, yeah, so we have to do, uh, well, let's let the game explain it. Let's let the game explain it. Yeah. Lava Spire Daredevil Run, yeah. We have to do the entire first mission without getting hit, and I'm just going to cut to the chase. I think this is the worst star in the game. Because if you don't do it in your first try, let's just say, like, uh, you have to do this whole... If you die at any point, you have to do this whole thing over. So, uh, yeah, so, uh, just be very... I, my advice with this story is mainly take it very, very slowly at a time. You don't have to... It's not a speedy comet, so you don't have to rush through it. Especially since you can't take multiple hits, but, uh... But uh, just try to see if you can take your time throughout this galaxy and kind of carefully plan this out because if you die, even if you're trying to get the star, you have to do this over. So uh, I think this is actually worse than the Boulder Guys Daredevil star because if you're good at fighting Boulder Guys, that star is not really much of a problem. But um, even as a veteran player of this game, I've still taken deaths with this star and have to do it all over again. So uh, I'm not going to go for those star bits this time. So uh but I am going to go for those star bits. We'll go for ones that are easy to get, like these ones. And the Hungry Luma isn't there, so, uh, may she be missed. They don't normally show up in Prankster Comets anyway, but, uh... Alright, so wait till they, wait till they get out of the way. Do, maybe, let's, maybe let's try to chill for a bit, because, uh... Oh shit! No! I took too long! Anyway, back at this shit again, so, uh, let's just try to keep pulling the pull star, because if you take too long on those pull stars, you will eventually just, uh, fall off them. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, okay. No, 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 
I know when that disconnection happens, there's nunchuck problems. Not on this star, no. I am not, not on this star. I'm not having nunchuck problems on this star. All right, there's no nunchuck problems. Because normally when it's like standing still or um, either when it's standing still or it's like free running on its own, that's why you can tell the nunchuck is kind of drifting and all that. It's like the Switch Joy-Con drifting. It's never fun. I've replaced many nunchucks over the years because of a uh, not so great design with a control stick, let's just say. But we got through this area no problem, so let's just carefully avoid these as no. Okay, good. I do. I you, I hate the star with the passion. I think you can already tell that. We're on the last area, but uh, I hate. I really hate the star in particular. I think it's worse than having to fight Boulder guys without getting hit because. I already said this, but if you're good with fighting Boulder guys, that star isn't that much of a problem. If you especially follow the advice I gave in the earlier part, but, uh... Alright, sorry if I go dead silent during this. I really have to get through this. I'm not... I'm just cutting out all the, uh... I'm probably just, uh... Trying to see if we can take out, take out the shortcut proper. We did it proper this time. I almost fell in the lava, so I shouldn't have spoke too soon. But, um, we have 116 star bits. That's how long the galaxy's taken. Oh shit, oh shit, we got a wall jump, we got a wall jump. I shouldn't speak, I shouldn't speak. We gotta rush through this. We'll obviously not take a hit, but, uh, alright, get at, get these fuckers out of the way. We got this. Oh wait, we're. I have taken deaths at that particular, uh, that particular one enemy before also. It's not, it's not very nice. But anyway, we are done with this stupid, stupid star. Like I said, this is the worst star in the game and I did it on the second try. Anyway, so we have one more star to do in a um, Melty Molten Galaxy. So, uh, yeah, so, star number three in Melty Molten Galaxy, um, is actually the last normal star we've through in the whole game. The rest is just one star galaxies, and, uh, the final battles are in purple stars, so, uh, so yeah, star number three, and, uh, way not to end this all with a recycled boss, Fiery Dino Piranha, so... The first boss in the game is also the last boss we do before Bowser. This is a lot harder than the other one, though, because we have to avoid a lot of fire, so... Anyway, so, uh, let's be okay. We're not doing the Daredevil Star anymore, so thank God we can just take as many hits as we want. Now, well, as long as it's under three hits, I shouldn't be stupid and say. Because we... Mario games, unless you have stars, they're not known for their invincibility. Well, they are known if you have the stars, but that's a different point. Yeah, I made a lot of stupid comments this recording session that I'm going to take back when I'm editing these. But anyway... Let's uh, wait till these are out of the way. We don't have to... Oh, actually, we have to kill all these enemies. That's what we actually have to do. Alright. Die! Okay. I, I, I'm lucky I just didn't take, fi take fire right there. So, uh... There's one more of these guys. So, I guess it's been... It's work not as good as Lightning Sergeant, but at least it's different. Oh shit, I almost just jumped right in the lava. 
And we got a one up, which is nice. We have 41 lives, so uh, that's how uh, many star bits we've got in this recording session. And be careful of this area because we get we get this is where we get the star chips and not take lava damage right there. All right. Oh yeah, come on. Get this one. I think you have to loop around all these. Okay, there's a health extension. We're gonna need that. I'm surprised they didn't just take. Spoke too soon! Guess who should not open his big fat mouth? Before we get that, though, I'm gonna get the health extension. And let's get uh, this right here. And of course, the launch starts over there, so we have to kind of. I don't like this galaxy. I don't like this galaxy at all. It's my least favorite galaxy in the whole game. The only good thing about it is how many star bits you can get. That's really it. Look at how many. Look at all these star bits. We have 120 star bits. We can get very well hit 150. We don't need a one up. We have we have a health extension and many one ups. But anyway, fiery dino piranha. Of course, the first boss in the normal game is also the last, so it's a way to come full circle. Now the difference between this time and last time is that the fight when the you don't want to touch the thing when it's on fire. So just be careful with that. This is a lot harder than the first fight. Let's just say. I think also he'll spit fireballs at a later phase, so, uh... Oh, shit! 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 There we go. Yeah, thank you want to get the health extension earlier, but, uh... Yeah, he's gonna get pissed now. He's gonna start spitting fireballs, too. Shit! Alright, there we go. And one more hit. We have multiple hits. Yeah, it's the way he starts spinning fireballs. There we go! He's down! That is the last star we can do in the normal game. Well, in any of the galaxies. So, uh... Let's collect our star. Anyway, so I think it's time to cut it off for this part of a uh, Super Luigi Galaxy. So, uh, next time on Super Luigi Galaxy, we're going to tackle some of the remaining stars we haven't gotten yet. See you guys then.